study this carefully. This is your B, your A, and your G. We're going first finger down, second finger, and third finger down. Last episode, I did the C. Now, we have a few, I had a few questions brought up of a couple of people about why doesn't my flute sound in tune or in pitch. If you have a hottery or another model, it could be set to a different pitch frequency. Mine's A440. I do have the other extension to use, but double check your tuning of your A by rotating it around with an electronic tuner and see if it is actually in the pitch of A440 or if it's in another pitch. It'll be either 436 or 415 is more common. It's going to sound more flat and dissonant than mine, but don't worry, the fingerings are still the same. Hottery, Pratt, and any of them, all the notes are going to be uniform that I use. You can transition between any of the models of a Baroque flute or a classical flute. So to do a B, again, first finger closes the first hole. Pinky on E flat. Parallel. A. You're going to put one other finger down. And then a reach to the G. And G is going to be an awkward reach, so you have to get used to it. So those are your th uh, three notes. What I suggest you do is just practice getting used to playing them in sequences. And you can add your C from last one. So once we get comfortable with C, B, A's, and G's going up and down, then you can start learn trying to decipher melodies, simple melodies. Mary had a little lamb is the easiest. You can use B, A, G, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, B, B. And so forth. At this point, we can now move on to the difficulty in transitioning to D. Okay, high D is tricky. It is your first, no pinky key this time, no E flat key. It is the bottom three fingers closed on the bottom half, and on your left hand, it's two and three. I will always call it one, two, three, four, five, six from this point on. So you're going to use two, three, four, five, and six for the fingering of D. Now you're going to need a little more air, and you're going to have to blow a little more pressure over it. So now you can play. Now it's hard to transition from C to the D. So what I, the reason I teach you the C with these two down is all you have to do is close two additional fingers to go to the C. Otherwise, if you use this, you got to close all six holes fast. And it's more difficult. Where I find if you use this one, you can easily transition, and your C will actually be closer in tune on the broke flute. So the, your first exercise is going to be using your five notes in a warm-up scale, starting on your G. comfortable doing that and then we're going to try the arpeggios
and then you're going to try the scale backwards. And then we're going to try a few other exercises. Sorry, screensaver kicked in again. We're going to try doing the arpeggios backwards. Alrighty, so now we get a, once you get comfortable with this, this is going to take practice to do. Start very slow, like whole note slow. Pick up to eighth notes, to chord notes, to half notes, whatever, all the way up to sixteenth notes until you can do it. So you can play it really fast. Once you can play it fast, then we can move on. But for now, this is where we're going to stick. Work on this, getting used to transitioning G, A, B, C to D. G, A, B, C, D, C, B, A, G. Get comfortable with those. This is going to be our basis for the next step in learning the flute.